Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is a love romantic relationship dating, getting to know reading for you. Or in short, this is a love reading, a weekly love reading for the Virgo friends out there. Virgo, what is the message for you this week? What can I get for you? Okay, let's see what's happening to you. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. Thanks for everything that you do in my channel. Thank you. Guest viewers, don't forget to click the, click, click the bell, click subscribe. <laughs> and all of the services that I offer, um, private readings, um, extended readings, manifestation items, all of the transaction is done via the website, okay? So please be aware of the scammers. Don't entertain them, okay? So in today's reading, <laughs> we'll be looking at the past, the present, and immediate future. Depending on the message for today, I will let you know if there's a need to extend the reading. This is for you. <clears throat> what can I get for Virgo, please? What is the message? Right. Okay, this is for Virgo. Okay. Um, let's look at your overall energy. Ace of Wands. Ooh. I feel like you're excited for someone to return. You could have a new lover or you could be connecting with someone passionate or your interest is somehow you're excited. Something is, something in here is telling me that you're excited to connect, to reconnect with someone. Like I feel like you have moved on, like you're ready again to love or you're ready to be passionate again or you feel excited towards this person, whoever it is. Um, it's exciting exciting yeah so let's look at the situation in the past okay recent past you've got the judgment card you've got the lover's card wow this is soulmate this is huge look at that Ooh, oopsie okay look at that <clears throat> this is the judgment and this is the lover's card you are connecting with a soulmate okay you've got a soulmate connection or a very strong it's a very strong relationship. Judgment. Let's see the judgment card. Okay. So for some of you, um, you could be dealing with a third party or you could be dealing with... Um, I feel like it's almost... Like for some of you, I'm getting it's almost exclusive. Yeah, like you, you have it all. You, you have the... You know, em Emperor card in reverse. Like... <clears throat> If there's no doubt, no doubt that you and your person is very compatible, but there's this one thing, one thing is missing. It could be marriage, it could be long-term engagement, it could be a baby, it could be, it could be that one thing, one thing, maybe officiated for some of you, but I mean, lover's card, <clears throat> excuse me, I mean, look at that, the lover's card, yes, this is the one, this is the one. You only need to get rid of the third party. It's like, yes, this is the love of my life. You only have to declare it, you know, for some of you. But there is a one thing element in the past that is preventing you and your person to be full-time. Full-time lover or marriage or it could be long distance. But, you know, and it's significant. That is a very significant thing, you know, for some of you. It could be that you really, really get get along but you're long distance or you really get along but there's this one one ex or a third party that need to get rid of it's just one thing one thing that you need to get rid of and this would be perfect okay yeah yeah you're almost it, it's almost perfect something like that ace of pentacles yeah so for some of you, you've been dating this lover for quite so long now. And all you have to do is to move in, officiate it, get married, be with them together eternally by living together, having baby. But Ace of Pentacles, the lover's card, it's, it's almost perfect. You know, in your eyes, this is what you want. And I believe that your person also want the same thing. But there is this one, you know, there's this one, you're quite perfectionist. You know that. So I'm feeling like you're so focused onto that one thing where 90% of it, it's working. Okay, Virgo. It seems to be, it's good guards. This is good energy. The situation in the past, it's 90% working. 10% is 
no, nothing is perfect, you know. But in here, 90% it's working. 90% it's working. 10% you've got to deal with that imperfection. You know, something you need to settle, something something that maybe you need to work things out together. Maybe it's, it's just a matter of time. But it's 90% perfection. Well, it's not perfect. <clears throat> You've you 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 you've got this ideal picture. You've got this ideal picture that if you know if this would happen, it would have been perfect. But because you're so focused on that one thing, that ten percent imperfection, you're not appreciating it. You've got ninety percent tick off like checklist. You know, for some of you, um, okay, I would really be happy if I will get this job. You know, life is life is not complete with me if I don't get this job. If I don't get this thing, life is unhappy. Where in fact, that's just 10% of the overall. 90% it's working well. So you've got to have like that realistic. Mm. It seems to be the situation in the past. It's something you can compromise because 90% it's working. That's what I'm getting. Sorry, <laughs> I keep repeating myself. In the present Queen of Wands, they're still around, they're still interested, and they're very hot. You know, Queen of Wands, the Page of Cups, no matter how you say, like, no matter what is that song? No matter what you say about love, you keep coming back. What's that song? Yeah, there's a song. No matter what you say about love, no matter what you say about this person, you keep coming back. Because ninety percent of it, it's working, and the ten percent is something that you need to work. Maybe it will take time, but one thing is for sure: you are a match. You are a match, and that thing that makes this connection imperfect, it will only be solved if you are together. It cannot be solved if you are not together. Okay, it might be toxic. But you and this person being together can fight the toxic together. Okay, It's you being, talking, connecting. Being together makes the 10% work. You know, look at that. Immediate future you've got. This is a very straightforward reading. This is a situation. This is a person that you can't shut them down. You can't tell them to go away. Because this person will always come back. And they're willing to fix the 10% to make it work. You have a high standard in here, Virgo. And that's okay. You want something perfect. You want something 100%. And you deserve it. You, the way you, the way, just remember that the way you do things, the way you speak, the way you love, the way you move is unique. It's different from the person. So you have to consider that, you know. Yeah, the, the tower card in reverse. You cannot change them. You can only influence. You cannot change them. You can only influence. So if you want to make this work, be connected. Whether you stay casually as friends or you stay connecting. But as long as your radar and their connection is together, you can make it work. Being together, seeing, seeing each other eye to eye will make it work. And also I'm getting like you cannot change them. Their ways, their schedule. You can only compromise and influence. But you, you cannot make them think like you. You cannot make them act like you. Your timeline is different from their timeline. You've got to compromise. And the only way to compromise is staying connected. Stay in talking terms. But if you goodbye, you block them, you say... We shouldn't talk, blah, blah, blah. You know, we should not, you know. So for some of you, go away. We shouldn't talk until you figure things out. Then that would make them start all over again. Or that will make them, how can I continue the work if my partner is not around, you know. So in this reading, in this reading, Virgo, you need to talk. Whether you guys are break up or separated, there should be an open line of communication with you. That is the only way you can make things work. I see this person in the current energy messaging you. I think you're still interested with them. But it, it's it's something that you cannot solve overnight. Think about it. This person will return. 
Think about it. This person will return and you're excited when you, they return. Exciting. You're excited. It's a it's a reading where you've got to meet at a, you know, you've got to meet somewhere there. You know, you've got to meet like a, a compromise, a satisfactory compromise. I see them returning the sun card August for some of you pretty much September, October, November. There's hope, you know, there's a chance for reconciliation in here, to be honest. Um, so this is your reading. Thank you so much, Virgo, for tuning in. Thanks for being here. A pleasure doing the reading to you. I will see you soon again. Bye-bye.